So today I'm going to explain why holding 0.1 Bitcoin, which is 10% of one of these, is actually going to be far more important for your future than you might actually realize. But I'm also going to explain why time is running out and there is literally only days left for you to be able to hold 0.1 of one of these, okay? Now this today, 0.1 of a Bitcoin is worth around 7,000 US dollars, okay? So we're going to actually do all of this by looking at how much wealth there is in the world and calculating how many people can actually buy 0.1 Bitcoin. Uh, but before we do any of this and go through the number of charts and graphs I have for you guys prepared, I just wanted to quickly say to anyone who might be new here. Yes, you can buy a fraction of a Bitcoin. I know we're in a new Bitcoin bull market. We might have new people watching the video. Welcome if you are new here. There are 100 million Satoshis in every single Bitcoin, okay? The same way that there is 100 cents in every dollar, we got 100 million Satoshis in every Bitcoin. So now that we put that one out of the way, let's move on and have a look at all of the charts I have prepared for you guys. Now, I found this really cool pyramid earlier today. And this was actually showing the amount of wealth held by everybody in the world. It's showing you how many people own what percent of wealth. So we can see at the very top, there is 33 million millionaires, okay? We know that. But I'm more interested by the big blue box at the bottom of this pyramid. Now, again, how much how much dollars do you need to buy 10% of a Bitcoin? 0.1 Bitcoin. You need $7,000. So the big uh, blue base of this pyramid is measuring the amount of people who own less than 10,000 US dollars. And we can see that it's 3,546 million people. So that is 3.5 billion people or 70% of the people that they actually measured in this survey. 70% of people hold less than 0.1 Bitcoin. Okay. Well, kind of close enough. 7,000 US dollars. 10,000 US dollars. It's pretty close, okay? Uh, so let's move on and have a look at the rest of this pyramid because I'm also interested by looking at the number of millionaires on this pyramid, okay? We are going to come back to looking at why specifically time is running out, but I want to look at the number of millionaires there is in this graphic. Now, I just wanted to say, uh, again, the reason we're doing this video today is because uh, a, a loyal viewer reached out and he said, hey, this is Dan Lass, by the way. He said, I would be really fascinated by the calculation looking at how many people will ever own one Bitcoin or 0.1 Bitcoin. So again, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to, to, to uh, submit them and we will actually, I'll make a video on it. I, I love making videos on Bitcoin. We make videos daily here on the channels and I never run out of ideas, but I love to cover what you guys want to cover. So thank you to Dan Lass for uh, giving us the idea for today video. I know I'm not exactly doing everything in his idea today. We're going to cover the rest of what Dan Lass was talking about in a future video that's far more in depth. But I want to look at the Visual Capitalist here. So the Visual Capitalist is one of my favorite websites because of the amazing graphics that they do have. So they have this pyramid that's looking at the number of millionaires in the world today. So we can see that in 2012, there's about 28 million millionaires. 2022, there was 59.4 million millionaires. So again, that number has more than doubled in the past 10 years, okay? Between 2012 and 2022. So that's absolutely significant growth, okay? I, I would, I'm very interested to know what, why you guys think that happened. I obviously think that's a consequence of the fiat system, okay? I think it's very clear that the, the fiat system caused this massive amount of of wealth to be held by the very, you know, the, the upper echelon of the world. We can see here that the total millionaire wealth stands at $208 trillion, okay? And that is 45% of the total global wealth that's held in the world, okay? And again, this amount has increased by 138% since 2011, 
So like the number of millionaires, the number of, uh, the amount of wealth held by the millionaires is also growing a lot, okay? It's growing a ridiculous amount. It's absolutely crazy how much, uh, you know, the growth is happening. Now, this is kind of when I want to make a pivot and have a look at the number of people currently holding 0.1 Bitcoin. Before we do that, Let's check in on uh, the Bitcoin price because we are close to potentially setting a new all-time high during this stream. Let's have a look. I want to see maybe, I think we're $69,500. So we're getting close. Uh, Daniel Rayson says BTC price is 69420 right now. <laughs> what are the odds that that's the price of Bitcoin while we are doing this live stream? Absolutely love it uh, on Binance. <laughs> Daniel Rayson bringing the facts to the chat, okay? Absolutely love it. Now, we are going to come back to the price at the end of the video because I've actually made a video making the case for why I believe we could see a massive Bitcoin pump on Monday, okay? Uh, I've made the video for that one. We're going to talk about that at the end of today's video. But I wanted to actually give you guys, again, a little bit of a peek behind the curtain. I tried to show you this peek behind the curtain on the earlier live stream that we were on today uh, when I had a little bit of issues trying to actually, uh, I think I ran out of internet. I think that's what happens. So we're going to, once again, try to show you what I want to show you. Okay, we got it. We're working. We are on. I think we're on. Producer Pam's going to come in and tell me if you guys can see my presentation right now. But what I want to show you is the Bitcoin rich list. Okay, so you can see the title of this presentation or this slide is 0.1 Bitcoin frees your family from fiat forever. I love the Fs there. I couldn't help myself. Uh, so we can see that right now, as of now, 4.5 million addresses have more than 0 0.1 BTC today. Okay, so let's have a think about that for a minute. 4 million addresses hold more than 0 0.1 Bitcoin. How many of you watching this live stream today hold more than one address? Okay, pretty big question. I personally I'll probably hold... Uh, it's, it's well over 10. I don't think it's 100 different addresses. Maybe it is from all the old wallets I have. But the point of this example is most people hold multiple addresses and most people probably hold more than four addresses themselves. So if there's only 4.5 million addresses who hold 0 0.1 Bitcoin today, that means that there is probably less than 1 million people currently holding 0 0.1 Bitcoin. Now, again, this is massive. And a lot of people will say, but Luke, uh, you know, exchanges, you know, they might service 200 million people. And, you know, the major exchanges might only count as three addresses. That is true. But I just like to remind people, if you're not holding the Bitcoin yourself, it's not yours. And I think, honestly, all the people holding Bitcoin on an exchange today, uh, they, they shouldn't expect to get their Bitcoin in the future. Okay. Again, you only hold a liability. You don't actually hold Bitcoin. Uh, so again, I think that's kind of how we should be thinking about it. How many people are holding 0.1 Bitcoin in their own self-custody or in collaborative custody where it's where they actually control the keys? Okay, so I run the numbers here and I said, okay, based off a very bullish conservative uh, estimate, there's 21 million coins. If you have a look at how many people can potentially hold uh, 0 0.1 Bitcoin, that's 210 million families. Uh, so this is interesting. But what's more interesting is the fact that 40% of the Bitcoin supply actually hasn't moved for three years. So I think realistically, when we start thinking about it, I think right now, there's probably only around 10 million coins of Bitcoin actually available for sale. So that means when we break, run the maths a little bit further, we know that there is probably only 100 million people who can, who can actually potentially uh, hold 0 0.1 Bitcoin or, you know, uh, what's that? 0 0.1 Bitcoin. Uh, so 10% of a Bitcoin. Okay. Think about that. 100 million people out of the entire world who can hold 0 0.1 Bitcoin. Uh, I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm going to even share my screen and do some live maths for you guys because I'm interested. And I kind of just realized I kind of forgot 
to run the numbers for you guys. I want to see what percentage of the world can realistically actually hold that amount of Bitcoin. So I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I've got the calculator out and we're going to go uh, 8 billion. We're going to go 100 million people. So 100. Oh boy, this is hard doing maths under pressure, I tell you. All right, nine zeros for billion. Okay, so that means I just done the maths. I can't share my screen and show you uh, this, guys. But zero point zero one two five. So that is is that one point two five percent of the world can possibly hold zero point one Bitcoin. God, I hope that uh, that maths is right because I've been called out by a few of you guys in recent videos telling me to use the damn calculator, making sure my calculations are right, uh, correct in the live stream. So I think that's correct. Only 1.25% of the entire world can possibly hold 0.1 Bitcoin. Now, again, this is the most bullish conservative estimate we can make based upon the fact that there's 10 million coins actually available for sale. But I think there's actually far, far less coins available for sale. So let's get into that discussion. And I'm going to make the case for why the math is even, even more crazy and even more stupid. Okay. We're going to do that in a minute. I want to quickly hit the live chat. We got BTC Moon Guy in the live chat. We got Daniel Rayson. This looks like a, 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 a newbie on the channel. Hello, Daniel. Welcome. Uh, I own many addresses. My total is way more than any single one. So Daniel's backing up the point that most people hold more than one address. So again, if we got four and a half million addresses holding 0.1 Bitcoin, how many people is that? I think it's way less than a million people, okay? Way, way less. Uh, so we got DJ and Gaming in the chat. Okay, okay, good. That's a funny name. Welcome. Uh, I apologize for the technical difficulties earlier. Um, we had, I don't know why my Wi-Fi cut off literally six minutes into a live stream. So uh, I apologize to anyone who has had to watch me twice <laughs> present the same six minutes of content. Uh, so we've got Samuel Adams in the chat. Uh, welcome, my friend. Okay, so we got a lively live chat. Okay, uh, good. Thinks he has three addresses. Okay, so that's interesting. That's interesting. If everybody in the Bitcoin space was holding three addresses, that means we do have more than 1 million people holding 0.1 Bitcoin. But now's where the bad news comes. Now I'm going to, you know, pee on the party a little bit, so to say, uh, because now we're going to look at how long there is left for the everyday person to actually get to 0.1 Bitcoin, okay? Uh, because that's the more interesting uh, stuff. Uh, thank you. Okay, good. Welcome. I appreciate the kind words. I'm glad you found the channel. Uh, that's the mission here. We're trying to find as many Bitcoiners on YouTube before the price of Bitcoin really starts running up, okay? In 2017, I don't know if most of you guys know, but I was uh, stuck watching scammers on YouTube in 2017. I wish there was more Bitcoin only uh, content on uh, YouTube. So that's my mission. But anyway, let's move on. Couple more, guys. Couple more charts. Now that's not the chart I wanted. What I wanted to show you was this one here. And this is the Bitcoin ETFs. The ETFs really worry me. Okay, they really do. There's not a lot of Bitcoin left on exchanges. We know there's only 1.8 million Bitcoin left on exchanges today. And the ETS right now are absolutely gobbling up Bitcoin. So we can see here on the, um, we can see already in this green bar, the nine new Bitcoin ETFs have already flipped Grayscale. They hold more Bitcoin than Grayscale right now. Grayscale holds 396,000 Bitcoin. And the nine new ETFs have already flipped them. Okay, that's absolutely huge. Okay, seriously huge. That's honestly a very, very big deal. Um, and this chart here is looking really interesting now because we can see that the blue on the bottom of this chart is the amount of Bitcoin held by Grayscale. And it is now smaller than the rest of the chart. So you can see there's like a nine assorted colors here representing every uh, Bitcoin ETF who's buying the Bitcoin. But we can see that, boy, oh boy, we can see that, uh, you know, these nine new ETFs now hold more Bitcoin than uh, Grayscale does. This is absolutely massive. This is huge. I don't think, I don't think anybody is really prepared for just how bullish uh, these the Bitcoin ETF supply suffocation actually is. I think okay, I think it's absolutely massive. Um, and I'm going to talk about the new rabbit hole I went down today researching another video. I'm going to park that conversation for the end of today's video. I want to show you this one. So producer Pam makes these charts here. 
So obviously we talk about it a lot on the channel. Uh, to anyone new, uh, the green boxes is representing uh, every thousand Bitcoin bought by the nine new Bitcoin spot ETFs. Uh, so that is actually 377 boxes there. Uh, so again, say a prayer for producer Pam. She has to manually count this out whenever she makes the chart. So uh, sorry, Pam. Uh, but this is showing you the amount of Bitcoin bought by the Bitcoin ETFs. And then the red is showing you how much is sold by Grayscale. So we can see there's 208,000 Bitcoins being sold by Grayscale. Uh, so we, we're looking at a differential of around 200,000 coins, okay? That's an enormous amount of Bitcoin. That really is an enormous amount of Bitcoin. It's absolutely wild. Uh, so again, uh, this is why we've seen an enormous rally in price leading into the Bitcoin halving. Uh, we have Elaine in the chat. I did see Elaine in the earlier live stream. I'm really sorry you had to... Put, uh, put up with our technical difficulties. Um, thanks for tuning in again, Elaine. Uh, Rexona, Rexona 70, 72 hours, the favorite deodorant there is on the planet, makes a really interesting point. As a third world holder, I must work at least five times harder as an American to buy the same sats. That is 100% true. And that is one of the really terrible things with the fiat system. But again, this is the opportunity, okay? People in the third world today, they do have to work harder. But I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing live. I'm going to be uh, Googling how many Satoshis per person because I have, I have friends in third world countries who don't earn a lot of money. And uh, obviously it's slightly disheartening to not be earning as much money as people in the West. Some people in the third world country might think they're behind, but I would like to encourage anyone in the third world to just think about it for a minute. You have the opportunity to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible, okay? This is the uh, this is like the entire point of today's video. Bitcoin is a fixed monetary system. There is only 21 million coins. There is an infinite amount of fiat. It's growing by the day. It'll continue to grow forever, okay? Fiat, there is no top for Bitcoin because there is no bottom for fiat. There's no limit to how much fiat money can be printed, okay? So again, this is a fixed monetary system. You can actually stake your claim in this monetary system today in 2024 when 99.9% .9 of the world has absolutely no idea what it is, okay? Literally, 99.9% .9 of the world has less than half their money in Bitcoin. And, you know, I think that means they don't understand Bitcoin, okay? I don't want to trigger anyone watching this, but I think if you truly understand Bitcoin and the 5,000-year history of money, you're probably going to have more than half of your net worth in Bitcoin. So again, this is your opportunity. If you're in the third world, you can stack sats faster than everyone in the West. All my friends in America right now, they're drinking alcohol four nights a week, getting absolutely blasted and gambling all their money away on sports because, you know, hey, I'm cool, man. You know, that's just, that's just what it's like. Like they're absolutely brainwashed in the fiat system. They don't see what's wrong with this, okay? So again, this is your opportunity to buy 234,000 Satoshis. What's important about that number? Well, if you divide the 21 million Bitcoin by the 8 billion people there is on the planet, that means there is enough Bitcoin for every person to have 234,000 Satoshis per person. Today, that is $162. Okay, so again, anyone in the third world can, I believe, accumulate more than $162. Okay, now the way to think about this, if you are in the third world, think about how much dollars you need to have your fair share of dollars in the world. I haven't actually run the numbers on this. It could make uh, for a fun video in the future. But if I had to guess, it's probably in the thousands of dollars. It's probably in the 10 or 20 or $30,000 for you to have your quote unquote fair share if the fiat system is actually divided equally. Even if you could accumulate your fair share of fiat, let's just remember that the, the fiat overlords are going to dilute your share of fiat because they're going to continue printing money into perpetuity, okay? It's just an unfair game that we are playing today. Uh, so again, accumulate 234,000 Satoshis, which today is only worth $162, okay? That is uber cheap. That is so, so cheap. That is incredibly cheap. 
Okay, if you're still watching sports or you know drinking alcohol, take DGen Gaming's advice. Alcohol and sports are shit coins. I tend to agree. I think they're shit coins. Uh, again, so you may you, people waste so much time and money watching sports and drinking the alcohol when they could be stacking sats. Okay, it's absolutely incredible the amount of time people are wasting when they could be stacking sats. Um, actually, I didn't even plan on sharing this one today, but I did a video. I don't know if you guys caught it, but in 2017, I actually said, you know what, rent is a shit coin. I'm gonna go live in a van. Uh, for a year. And I did that for a year because I wanted to stack more sats. And I actually ran the numbers of that little experiment. Um, I might actually show you guys. I hope you guys can, oh, you can't. Uh, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to share my screen and actually show you the video, but I ran the numbers and I found that I actually saved 12,000 Australian cuck bucks in 2017 and 18 by living in a van. And, you know, I, you know, that's four Bitcoin. Okay. So think about that. I think there's a lot of people out there who, who you know, they make excuses. Oh, I can't buy a full Bitcoin or 0.1 Bitcoin. It's too expensive. I can't possibly, you know, accumulate that amount of Bitcoin. It's, it's too expensive, but I'm here to tell you there are ways, there are always ways to buy more Bitcoin. So if you want to watch that video, that's this one right here. I sold my house to buy more Bitcoin in 2018. You can go and check that one out if you're interested in that topic because, um, I, again, I think there's lots of ways that you can uh, make more money. Um, so I, I think, guys, I've actually got to bounce. I have an interview in about two minutes. Um, Risk Gunblazer has an important question I want to hit beforehand. Uh, Risk isn't worth the amount of sats you'd probably miss out on. Interesting question. Um, I could have bounced. I have an interview that I am, how late am I to that interview? I'm going to check it. Uh, I am 17 minutes late. Holy shoot. I, I had to do a live stream for you guys today. I'm doing a live stream every single day during this Bitcoin bull market. And you guys have to hold my feet to the fire. When I, Even if I'm in the plane, I'm going to try and do a live stream with you guys. Actually breaking down an interesting topic or story in the Bitcoin space, okay? I'm not just gonna read the news headlines about what's happened in the Bitcoin space. I think there's too many channels doing that. So again, I'm gonna try to do a video every single day for the entire bull market, put in a unique or interesting spin on things. So if you guys enjoy that, you can subscribe to the channel and hopefully you get notified when I go live every single day. But with all that said, Thank you so much to everyone who tuned in. I know we had some uh, technical difficulties there for the six minutes. I apologize. Uh, I will see you all in the next live stream.